Word 2013 and 2016. Productivity Accessibility Tab Explained. What is the Productivity Accessibility Tab? In Microsoft Office, the wide band of commands at the top of each application's window is called the ribbon. The ribbon includes a series of tabs. Each tab includes a set of commands that help you achieve a specific task or various similar tasks. But Microsoft Word offers no tab dedicated to the task of creating accessible documents. Many of those commands are scattered all over the ribbon. Others aren't on the ribbon at all. To fill this gap, several Texas agencies built the Accessibility tab for Word 2007. With a few modifications, it has become the tab we use today. When using this tab, employees at some of these agencies noticed that their work in Word had become faster and easier. They chose to call it the Productivity tab. It's the same tab, and either name is OK. For simplicity, we call it the Productivity tab for the rest of this learning module. Accessibility is important, too. An accessible document is one that can be used by everyone, including people with disabilities. When you use the correct commands in Word, creating an accessible document is at least as easy as creating one that is not accessible. Where to find the tab? Open a new document in Word and look at the tabs on the ribbon. If you see the word productivity, the tab is installed and ready to use. By default, the Productivity tab appears between the Home tab and the Insert tab on the left end of the ribbon. However, some agencies might choose a different location. Other agencies might choose to install the tab in a deactivated state, so you may need to activate it before you can use it. Activating the Productivity tab. To see if the tab is installed but not active, open the Customize the Ribbon dialog in Word. Here is how to find out whether the Productivity tab is installed and, if it is, to activate it. 1. Right-click your mouse anywhere in the ribbon at the top of the Word window. A context menu will open. 2. In the context menu, click Customize the Ribbon. The Customize Ribbon dialog will open. 3. In the Main Tabs list, Look for a checkbox labeled Productivity Custom. If you see it, the ribbon is installed and you only need to activate it. If you do not see Productivity listed, then you must import a customization file to get the tab. 4. To activate the installed tab, click the Productivity Custom checkbox. If the box is already checked, the ribbon is already active. Before you go farther, make sure this checkbox is checked. 5. Click OK and you're done. After it is activated, you will see the Productivity tab between the Home and the Insert tabs in the ribbon. Installing the Productivity tab. If the Productivity tab is not installed on your machine, you can install it yourself. Check the resources included with this training module for instructions on installing the tab. Putting Productivity First. Especially after you become comfortable using the Productivity tab, you might want Word to show it to you by default. In other words, whenever you finish working on formatting a table or some other task that takes you to a special tab, you might want Word to return to the Productivity tab, not the Home tab. To make this happen, put Productivity first in the ribbon. 1. Right-click on the ribbon. 2. Click Customize the Ribbon. 3. In the Main Tabs list, select Productivity, Custom. 4. At the right side of the list, click the up arrow until Productivity is first in the list. 5. Click OK. Now you won't ever have to look for the Productivity tab. Word will show it to you by default. Groups found in the Productivity tab. The tab is divided into several groups, labeled across the bottom of the ribbon. For now, let's look at each group briefly. 
File Tools. The File Tools group includes the commands to create a new document, open an existing document, save or print a document, or update the document properties. It also gives you quick access to the Accessibility Checker command. View the Accessibility Checker learning module for an introduction to that command. Zoom. The Zoom commands let you change your magnification level when viewing a document, so you can make the text larger or smaller depending on your needs. These commands change how you are viewing the document on your screen. They do not change the size of the fonts in the document. Structure. The commands in the Structure group allow you to view and change structural elements in your document, such as the text styles, headings, and table of contents. The Templates command lets you quickly change the document template. Lists. The Lists group contains commands for creating bulleted and numbered lists. If a command is grayed out or not available, it just means that you are not currently editing an element that can use that command. Here, the Promote, Demote, and Restart numbering commands are not available because we're not editing a list right now. Layout. The Layout group includes the commands for setting page or section breaks, or changing to single or multiple column formats. One command in this group takes you straight to the Page Setup dialog. Tables. The Tables group contains commands for creating and editing data tables. You can insert a new table, convert existing text to a table or a table back to text, add a caption to your table, or open the Table Properties dialog. Language and Links. The Language and Links group has commands to set the language of the whole document or a section of text. Here you can also add bookmarks and hyperlinks to the document. Forms. The Forms group includes commands related to simple forms. Keep in mind that not all forms controls in Word are accessible to people who use screen readers, so you should use the elements provided here to ensure that your forms can be used by everybody. Pictures. The Pictures group has commands that let you insert a picture into your document, to add alt text to the picture so that people using a screen reader know what the picture is, to add a border, and to set the layout for the picture. Remember that you should normally use the inline layout option. That covers all of the sections of the Productivity tab. Conclusion. In this module, you have learned that a Productivity tab is available for Word, how to find it, and which commands are found in this tab. Other modules in this training series provide more detail on using the commands found in the Productivity tab. If you have never used this tab before, having these commonly used commands in a single tab will not only make it easier to become highly productive when using Word, but as an added benefit, will help you make your documents more accessible to people with all levels of ability.